Borderlands 2 stands the test of time with what, in my books at least, a perfect game looks like. A chaotic blend of driven narratives, quirky characters, hilarious quips, and unmatched comical violence, the game is just too damn fun to have not played at least once in your gaming career. I'm assuming you're here because you've just picked up a copy, or maybe you're here in 2021 because like me, you just can't seem to stay away from this game and needed a refresher. Well, whatever the case, welcome to Seductive Sleuth's Beginner's Tips for Borderlands 2 in 2021. Quick disclaimer before we start, these tips are mainly aimed at complete newcomers to the game who have no idea where to start or what to do. So without further ado, let's dive right into some knowledge that I've picked up from countless hours of Borderlands 2. Number 1. Side missions. Do the damn side missions. You'll naturally get XP for just playing through the main storyline, and it will be enough to get you around the recommended level for each mission. However, there will be times where you'll find some missions are just too difficult. You might often seem to hit a wall early on in your character playthroughs. This wall is likely because of a few things. You're just a few levels below the recommended level, which can make things a lot more difficult than you'd think. Your gear is not high enough level, or maybe it is just a tough boss or a mission. There's a few of those, some boss fights are literally called invincibles. But side missions are basically your cheat code for leveling up quicker and having a more streamlined, less rage inducing campaign. You'll get XP, cash, weapons and gear for completing them as well. Number 2. Character Builds Don't focus too much on character builds for your first few playthroughs. The chances of you having the gear needed is slim to none. You won't even have the maximum skill points needed to make a build for a long time. Plus. Once you do make a build, you can reinvest your skill points at any point in the game if you find that it isn't working for you, or want to try something new. It costs some money, but you get all your points back and you can set your skills as you like. Sure, if you're somebody who knows that they want to obliterate anyone within melee distance, there's builds for that. Or if you're more of a tanky player, there's builds for that. Or if you want to pump your robotic death machine so full of elemental damage you... Yeah, you, you get the point. <laughs> There's builds for everyone, but it's not a necessity to play the game with. Once you've reached max level, then I recommend doing your research on some builds for your characters, otherwise it's just going to add a little bit more stress to the game. Number 3. Patience. You're going to die, and die, and die, and die, and it's going to get extremely frustrating. Borderlands can be pretty difficult at times, and even as someone who's sunk easily over a thousand hours into the game in the past, I still find myself dying. You may underestimate a boss, run out of ammo, not see some explosive canister, etc etc. It happens. Most notably, you will be dying quite often during your first few play playthroughs, as you continuously are leveling up and trying to scale your gear with the mission requirements. Sometimes, as I said earlier, you might hit a wall, and probably won't be able to get through one particular mission or just one damn boss. You'll get frustrated, give up, and quit the game. We've all done it. But when this happens, it's usually a pretty clear indicator that your gear is not up to par, which leads me into the next tip. Number four. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. That's how we make the dough. Upgrades. Get used to farming your gear. Lots and lots of gear. While I wouldn't recommend fretting over farming every single legendary on your first run through, your need for new gear will consistently update. As little as a 2 to 3 level difference between your weapon and an enemy's level can be the difference between a relatively easy run through and a painful dying cycle. For example, if a legendary weapon randomly drops for you at level 10, that weapon is going to be a huge help for like 3 levels. Weapons and gear become extremely obsolete rather quickly when leveling up earlier on in the game, so it's a huge waste of time trying to farm some weapon that you saw on YouTube described as the most overpowered weapon in Borderlands 2. Wait till your max level. Keep an eye out for new gear as you level up though, whether that be in vendors or mission rewards, but your main loot source will be enemy drops. It's pretty much a guarantee that at some point during your playthrough, a boss will drop a legendary for you, and the first time that it happens, it feels awesome. Hell, even the 500th time it happens, it still feels awesome. But just because an item is a legendary does not always mean it is useful. Some rare or unique weapons are objectively more useful than certain legendaries, but that's a topic for another day. So if you find yourself tossing up between a green weapon that's scaled to your level or an, a legendary weapon that's a few levels behind you, it's probably going to be a better idea to pick the green. Number 5. Exploring. Don't be afraid to explore the game. 
I suppose this one isn't really a necessity or a tip that's going to help you improve your gameplay, but Borderlands 2 is jam-packed with easter eggs, and quite a few actually reward the player with unique gear and cosmetics. There are a ton of hidden passageways, obscure entrances, and cool little off-the-beaten path trails that won't be found unless you are actively searching. Some of these offer a cool reward, some of them don't. It's still cool to find them though. Borderlands 2 has a massive world, so make sure to explore it all. Keep an eye out for as many easter eggs as possible as well. I've played this game through at least 15 times, and I am still to this day finding hidden gems, hidden gems within it. It's always cool to rock some sick unique skins or fight some obscure mini bosses, such as a giant Minecraft creeper. Yeah, that's an actual boss fight. It's, it's awesome. Number six, money, money, money. You'll go through an endless cycle of having a lot of it, then dying, losing a good chunk of it, and rinse and repeat. Borderlands 2 has a death tax system relative to the money that you possess in game. So the more money you have, the more money you lose technically. There's plenty of money farming guides out there because let's face it, who doesn't love flexing all their in-game currency? But money is not the be all and end all in Borderlands 2, as the majority of your weapons and gear will come from loot pool drops and not so much vendors, but it's still nice to have a thick wad of cash sitting in your bank. Number seven, choose the play style that you want to play. This sort of relates back to tip 2, but I really don't think I can stress this enough. As a newcomer, you've likely got no idea about what each character has to offer, and that's to be expected. Which is why I recommend you pick a character that you think you might enjoy first. There are tons of videos online saying, oh, play this person, no, that person is trash. Ignore them. Each character has a totally different playstyle, which can be further developed by their build, which as I did mention earlier, isn't really something you should be focused on this early in the game. Sure, some characters have a more welcoming playstyle for newer players, but if you know what kind of playstyle you want, then there's no problem with doing a bit of research to finding a character that suits it, and then choosing that style. Personally, I believe it makes the game a lot more enjoyable playing a character that you think is interesting over the meta character and their game-breaking build. My first ever playthrough was with Zero. I had no idea about builds or anything, I just picked the character because they looked badass, and honestly it turned out to be so much fun. Figure out what characters you like and dislike and give them all a fair chance. Who knows, you may find a character to be a lot more fun than you thought, as you would never have picked them otherwise. Once you get the hang of the playstyle and character you like, then as I mentioned before, then focus on your builds. Number 8. Guns, Guns, Guns there are quite literally a bazillion different guns to find in Borderlands 2. However, they are condensed down into multiple weapon types. Pistols, assault rifles, SMGs, snipers, rocket launchers, and shotguns. This then branches into five elemental weapon types, incendiary, shock, corrosive, explosive, and slag. The first four elements are relatively self-explanatory. Fire is effective against flesh, Shock is effective against shields, corrosive is effective against metal, and explosive is effective against pretty much anything, though not as much as the more specific element types. Slag, however, is a little bit more complex. Slag on its own does not offer any extra damage to a certain enemy type. What it does do is imbue the enemy with the slag, which will then boost the effectiveness of any of the other elements that that enemy is then dealt. It's essentially an elemental buff. And when paired with the right weapon, slag can be a huge aid during fights. Number 9 and my last tip. Have fun. Honestly, I think this is the most important aspect of Borderlands 2. The game is a chaotic, insane, random, violent, and just downright hilarious roller coaster of fun. Even when you've played through it 20 times, or 30 times, or even 50 times, the humour is still guaranteed to make you giggle. You will pretty much never run out of things to do, and it's a guarantee you will never technically collect every single gun the game has to offer, unless you're like immortal and have an unimaginable amount of patience. So that pretty much sums up my tips for a newcomer to Borderlands 2. Keep in mind these are just personal recommendations and you may not relate to all of them which is fine. My goal here was to share my knowledge of this game with people who were tossing up whether to buy it or even with the people who are considering returning after not giving it a proper chance. 
I've had so much fun playing this game, and I want to let as many people in on this gem as humanly possible. So enjoy Vault Hunters, and let the chaos of Borderlands 2 flow through you. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing and leaving a comment letting me know what I can do better, what I missed, and what you would like to see on a potential guide next. Who knows, maybe this will turn it out to be a whole little Borderlands 2 series, and I'm definitely not going to complain about that. Cheers for watching guys, and have a dope day.